I wanted to say the Indigenous people are still here, even though you, you may not see them around. They're still here and their DNA is embedded into Chevron Island. It's here in their land. You actually want your art to be in the neighbourhood, to be part of the everyday. So people happen upon it and they don't have to kind of seek it out. It's not a destination. You can just walk past this and it'll make you feel happy. And I reckon art is for everyone. And art actually creates and shapes a place. And so what we've done over the last 12 months is actually commission a number of artists to create work on the houses, in the houses, and also perform for a whole night. We reflected upon the year that we have had, which was a time of uncertainty, and change it into something positive. A time of reflection, a time of hope. I wanted to shine a light on this particular dwelling and I guess that's really what Club Chenu is about, is shining a light on this entire site and activating that. I think that the city is at a time in its maturity that's ready for this kind of stuff. Rosie said, would you do a piece of artwork onto a building? It absolutely blew my mind. The work, which is a blue sky with clouds, came about because when you see the colour blue, it reflects something that's calm. We also wanted something that viewers could look at and see hopefulness and clarity. The idea of a lighthouse is that thing in the distance, that guiding light homes, hoping to draw people to a place that perhaps has been overlooked and certainly dormant for a long time. It was an absolutely magic process. We started off with, at six o'clock at night with a projection onto the walls and an outline was done of the marks. And then when daylight came the next day, we started filling in the blanks. We noticed a lot of graffiti with the word egg and we really wanted to incorporate that into the piece now. We've got to have eggs as part of that because eggs will come back to tag but eggs will see that we've thought of them. In a sense it's a replication of a matrix and projection as well across the five window spaces. The video brings to life and brings light to the dwelling. It's a pretty fabulous kind of invitation and a commission for an artist to be given 360 degrees of a house as their canvas. So I think they've all stepped up and gone next level and that's really good for the Gold Coast. The reason behind DNA is using my fingerprint to say that I am embedded into this land and so are the traditional custodians who have lived here before me. The community will still be able to enjoy these activations once the festival has finished. We've had the opportunity to transform these abandoned spaces into something that is immersive work of art and hopefully reflect the art community as a whole on the Gold Coast. Because the response has been so overwhelmingly positive, this has set a precedent for future projects and I just want to do more.